presented right now is not acceptable and it has nothing to do with what Major Bloomberg promised. When he's in a in the same place here, two years ago, he said that community college and higher education was one of his priorities. 26 million of this is taken away from community college. Major Bloomberg in his campaign promised to make community college a priority. Yet, in cutting their funding by more than 26 million, this is at the same time that he's increasing the funding for the Department of Correction to 10.5 million. To me, this sounds like in spite of his campaign promise, Major Bloomberg is a lot more willing to spend money on putting New Yorkers in jail than putting them in college, and that's not right. So we are here because we believe that it is our responsibility to restore funding to all services. So the right. same thing right. yeah. yeah. We have to restore all funding that we need to our daycare center. We need to restore funding to a senior citizen. We need to restore funding to the firefighter. But also, we need to restore each money that we need, each penny that we need to a higher education, especially our community yeah. colleges. So today, we will hold a hearing where we will have our Chancellor Goldstein addressing with us how this cut will affect our community colleges. It is so sad that it is after six years that only 28% of our students at community college graduated and get an associate, which is a CC credit, than for them to continue to a four-year college. It is only, it is not only the student that will suffer. This cut will also affect many initiatives. The Peter Ballon Initiative, the Black and Male Initiative, the Dominican Study Institute, the Puerto Rican Study Institute, and we will fight so hard to be sure that the Murphy Institute also get the funding back. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So now we will hear from a number of colleagues. Here we will start first voting for our council member, Peter Ballon. Yeah. As the Donna said, the Peter Ballon Scholarship on, under this budget has been completely eliminated. It's also called the Merit Scholarship for a reason. It's based on merit. If you get a B average in City High School and you go to CUNY, you will get this Merit Scholarship, and you deserve it. You work hard, you need that money, and in many cases, it makes a difference between going to college or not going to college. We need to restore that money. The City Council has fought hard and restored that money every year, but this year it's going to be harder than ever. That's why I want to thank all you guys for coming down here today. I know you, this, this is our job to be here, but you guys are here fighting hard. It's an important scholarship. It's an investment in, for our future, and we need to save it and save our and, 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 and cut, uh, stop these education cuts. We're not investing in our future. I want to thank Adonis and Jumani and the teachers and all you guys for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. In the Peter Ballone Scholarship, is the only opportunity that undocumented students have to get a level of support for them to pursue the higher education. Now we're calling our brother, Councilmember Williams. What's up, you So, I'm a public school baby, and I'm a CUNY baby, from preschool yeah. to bachelor's to master's. This is a great education. But what I've learned from the budget what the mayor's priorities are, are rich people and the prison industrial complex. Those are the two things that I believe he thinks need to be funded the most. Uh, because he's giving tax breaks and supporting tax breaks to people who can afford to pay more. And he's decimating education, he's decimating CUNY, he's decimating after school programs. All the things that will keep our young people safe, educated, go to the next generation. Which means they're going to be headed toward prison because there's no other option for them here because they don't even have jobs. He doesn't even want to pay them a living wage. And this is unfortunate. The biggest expansion during CUNY happened during the Great Depression. So I don't buy the case that there's no money because we find money when we need money. So if he's not funding this, he believes that CUNY is not a priority. What he's saying is that the people behind me are not priorities to him. What are priorities to him 
as Wall Street who are making record profits. He has doubled and tripled the amount of money he's made while people behind me haven't been able to go to school, haven't been able to pay their tuition. People are losing their homes. So I guess he, can, he can't really understand what everybody's complaining about because he doesn't feel it. But we behind him definitely feel it. Everybody here feels it. Education is the only way to get out of the recessional problems that we're in. You have to have an educated populace. And I'm imploring the media to ask the question, where was the mayor when we fought for the millionaire's tax? Ask him and make him answer the question. Because he keeps saying everything is on the table. What he means is all cuts to CUNY and to firefighters are on the table. But when it comes to raising revenue from his friends, he just won't do it. So I'm asking you, why did you not support the millionaire's tax and telling us we should have gone to Albany? We were there. Where were you? No Ooh. cuts to CUNY. You have the money. Spend it on what is the priority for the city. Woo!